My name is Tony Stankus and I'm one of the owners of uh, Starcross Farm which includes Venn Valley Vineyard and the winery that we're sitting in now. The site selection was a huge task in itself. It took us three years to find this, this site. It had to be south facing slope, um, well drained. But when we came here, we had all of that, plus we had 15 acres of woodland, three lakes and a river and other fields. And, it, you know, it was just like, wow, this is the place to be. We, we've always had an interest in nature and um, what's good for the environment. My wife, Alina, she looks after the vineyard and I am trying to put things together to turn it into a really nice place to live and visit. And what we try and do is bring people in um, tell them what we're doing, what we're about, and um, Alina's wine tasting course and uh, the vineyard tours. We try to teach people about the benefits of what we're trying to do for the countryside. When we cleared the ground for this, the barn that we're sitting in now, there were lots of tree stumps and trees that were disturbed. So the tree stumps have been put in a big hole um, is a natural depression and it's slowly rotting away and it's full of moss and ferns and beetles and all sorts of things and the birds proliferate around here. We've got a number of locations around the farm where it's nice and peaceful and quiet and we just put the trees, tree tops, all the small branches in a pile and then slowly rot down over the years and again they're a nice little haven for the little um, the bugs and the creatures that like is basically a, a resort rather than a bug hotel. We've joined the, the Environment and Land Management Plan and as part of that we've stopped cutting grass as much as we did. To, to, you know, when you've got a vineyard people expect it to be nicely kept and we've set aside some land and let the grass do its own thing. Um, and at certain times of the year it looks really good, other times of the year it doesn't look so good. But I know as I've been driving around, uh, cutting the grass on the verges of these, I've seen massive grass snakes in there, which is fantastic to see. You can overmanage things. You know, creatures just like, like to be left alone. You know, we have visitors to the vineyard and they want to walk their, walk, their dogs in the woods. And we have to sadly say, I'm sorry, no, it's reserved. It's a nature reserve. We don't want people going in there. We've got deer, we've got otters, we've got kingfishers tree creepers, nut hatches. As much as we can, the food here is prepared on site. We've got baker on site, we've got some bread over there. We've got a cider maker on site. We sell a cider here, it's very, very popular. We try and engage uh, local farmers and the community in general to try and get as much as we can that is local. We've had a supply with honey, um, all our cakes and baked here and um, our milk comes from a local farm. Yeah, we, we, we basically try and buy local as much as possible. Before we came here, we lived in a small, small house and what we would do there was we'd have a corner of the garden where we would, we would all compost everything. What we didn't eat and the dogs didn't want, then would go into the compost. Um, we're really fastidious about sorting all our rubbish to make sure that nothing is wasted because cardboard it can be composted uh, and just breaking up the small pieces, throwing your compost with your potato peels and your leftovers and whatever and it will compost down and it's good for your garden. Now some of my people might say well, we don't have a very big garden but um, you know if you make it give it to your friends you know, someone will enjoy it because it's, it's good stuff. <laughs>